What's going on everybody? Mudcat here from 2XP Gaming. Today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the Scuff 1. Okay, I have uh, just received my Scuff 1 through the send-in service. Okay, that is basically where you take one of these, okay, your standard Xbox One controller, and you mail it in, um, and they customize it for you. It's a little cheaper because you're sending in your own controller, um, and they're not having to provide that for you, okay? Um, it's a small box, comes in a sleeve, it's a nice plain looking box, it's got some diagrams on it, tells you about the features of a scuff, um, nothing that special, but it does look nice and it's pretty clean. Okay, just a clean white box, <coughs> you open it up, <laughs> earthquake, alright, uh, okay, when you open it up you get some stickers, okay, you get some information about the controller. Um, about how to set up your controller, okay. About how to use those, uh, um, the electromagnetic remapping, and how to adjust the trigger stops. Okay. Okay. You can see the controller here, packaged in in foam. Okay, nice fit. And here it is. Obviously, there's different color options, different style options. I'll go ahead and talk about um, each one of the features on this thing. Uh, in a minute, but let's see what's in the box, okay? Okay, you get several things in here. If you do the send-in service where you send it in, um, they replace if you choose. Um, I had my my grips replaced, okay? So they gave me back my grips, they gave me back my battery cover. Um, so that's cool that I get that back. It's actually pretty nice um, if you're going to uh, need like a, a headset. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, here you get uh, a couple tools. You get a little screwdriver um, for some internal work. You get uh, a, a tool to help you open the grips up, and you get a tool to help you adjust your trigger stops if you've got trigger stops. Okay, that's the trigger stop tool. Here's to open up the controller, and here's a, a small screwdriver. Okay. Other than that, the only other thing in this box for mine, anyway, is uh, a little instruction about how to use the electromagnetic remapping here. You get a little lanyard to put your tools on if you so desire. Kind of a nice scuff gaming lanyard. Um, and then you get the electromagnetic remapping tool. Okay, and so basically how this works, um, as you can see the side here, this is the magnetic side. You would place that right there on the uh, where this line is on this controller okay and basically holding down um, if I were to hold down the A button and this paddle then it would map that paddle to that button okay you can tell it's magnetic sticks right to the desk okay very cool alright so that's what's in the box alright so let me move this stuff so we can get a better view Alright, let's pull these controllers over here. I'm knocking things around everywhere, sorry. Um, okay, so here is my standard controller that I already have. You can see it's sleek. I'm sent in the exact same one, except for this is my day one edition. Um, looks the same, except for the buttons are blacked out on mine. Okay, I went uh, with the send in service, there's not a lot of options as far as like customizing the colors. And so I decided just to go with the straight black. I kind of like the look of the black buttons. Um, you could have made this white and the buttons white and the d-pad white if you wanted, but I didn't really like the look of that. Um, I left the standard Xbox sticks. Okay, you can get longer sticks, but like I uh, have shown in another video, I use Control Freaks um, because I have several pairs and I like to switch depending on which game I'm playing. So I didn't want to be stuck at one um, setting the whole time. Okay, so I got the blacked out buttons. Okay, and as you've seen when I flipped this over, I went ahead and got four paddles on this thing pretty cool right okay basically uh, this battery cover just pops off okay just pops right off and uh, you know I'll pop it off so you can see how this works in case you've not seen it it's kind of a snug fit <clears throat> but you can see basically the paddles are there to depress these buttons okay and these buttons are coordinated to different paddles uh, let's see if I can get this back on okay um, other features I got, I got the, the scuff grip, which is this grip here, and you can kind of see that it has indentations for your fingers. It feels really nice in your hands. Um, 
it fits really well. Um, and then I also got the Pro Grip, which is this uh, inside here. Okay, so it's a nice feel. Um, got these four. I don't know how I'm gonna like the four, but I would. It was a feature I had the the money for it, and it was something that I would rather have and then not use rather than um, you know want it later on. Kind of one of those situations. All right. Um, another feature I got were trigger stops. You can see. Let me show you. Um, see how far that goes down not that far let me pull up another, the regular one right side by side so you can see the difference there okay now I got the adjustable ones um, I like that because again I'd rather have them um, say if I'm gonna play like Call of Duty or something and I want them it'd be nice to have them uh, if I don't want them you know if I'm playing a game like Halo where I need to charge a plasma pistol or something like that um, I can use this little tool here and I can adjust them so let me go ahead and show you how to do that um, real quick okay so you take this tool it's really easy um, you just pop off oh there it goes flying around sorry um, and there's a little bitty I'm gonna get this real close here it's right here right there a little hole if it'll f I don't know if it'll focus sorry anyway it's a tiny hole fits this little thing in there sticks right in it and you can twist it you know use it as a screwdriver um, to uh, adjust those trigger stops up down wherever you want them you can mess around with it uh, until you feel comfortable okay so that's this is basically what I got as far as like my customization now the one thing I do want to show you the coolest thing um, I've not synced this yet so it's gonna flash but it's this nice red LED. I know to you right now it probably looks orange, um, but it is not orange. Let me see if I can't sync this thing. My Xbox right next to me here. Oh, you can see the UV and stuff through the camera. All right, um, so it looks orange to you, but it's actually a really dark, deep red. Um, in person so it's a really nice looking color I kinda like to call it the eye of Sauron it's kinda kinda funny uh, or maybe it's not funny I don't really know um, alright and so that's basically an overview now let me talk for a minute about the send in service itself um, on the website it does say that scuff once they get your controller it'll be back out in about seven to ten days from what I've read and from my personal experience this was not the case um, I actually had a, a case where I think I wasn't quite sure but I think they lost my controller and so it took them uh, almost two months to find it uh, and in the meantime I you know I sent them several messages saying hey I don't I don't know where my controllers at and I got some very generic responses um, which I didn't really appreciate but I will say this uh, you know not every order is gonna be perfect there's gonna be some mess ups and maybe mine was just one of those cases once they found my controller and um, you know they, they scanned it in and everything then because the, I had had such a hard time getting it or had waited so long they went ahead and prioritized it and it was sent the next day so um, as far as like customer service goes and that kind of stuff I would probably say I'm neutral to scuff at this point overall with the whole experience I, at first I was kinda angry um, you know because it had taken so long but uh, by the time the thing had been resolved um, really there was some good parts of their customer service there were some parts that could have done better and I think it's maybe just a case of where they have a lot of orders um, and so this is my scuff one send-in service I'm really excited to play with it feels very comfortable these buttons are perfectly placed um, for your middle fingers there and they're great so uh, I really like it I'm happy that I got it can't wait to play with it some more all right um, so if you guys like this video um, then go ahead and like make sure to subscribe to our channel um, check out our website it's, it's uh, been remastered for all of our uh, content needs and uh, you know we'll catch you next time thanks